In this exercise, we're going to learn the two different ways to load architectural and structural columns into a project environment. To do this, move up here to underneath the Architecture tab, come over here to where we have Column, expand this out, and execute the Architectural Column command. You'll notice that underneath the Type Selector list under Properties, we currently only have a rectangular column loaded in our project, and it happens to have three different sizes associated with it. What I'd like to do is load in a round architectural column into the project. To do this, since we already have the command active, the quickest way will be to come over to Load Family. There are technically two different spots where we can load columns into a project. The first one is right here at Columns, and ultimately this is where we're going to be going. This is where all of our architectural columns are located at. There is another spot called Structural Columns. Anything underneath the Structural Columns folder is going to be specific, though, for the Structural Columns command. So we don't want to do this right now because we're going to be loading in Architectural Columns, and that's what we have loaded as our command. So come back up here to the top and double-click where it has Columns. Here we have a few of the default column shapes. You can see that we have some of the more ornate ones, including Doric. But the one that I want to choose is going to be the Round Column. So highlight on Round Column and click on Open. When you do this, over here underneath Properties on the Type Selector list, we'll now see the Round Column family has been added, as well as three different sizes associated with our Round Column family. Now, these were architectural columns, and if at this point I'm going to place them in, I could. But let's see the process of being able to load in our structural columns next. Hit Escape a couple times on the keyboard to get out of the command. Now technically we could have went through that exact same process and then selected on Structural Column, Load Family, and then loaded in Structural that way. The other option though that we have is instead of coming through the command itself, is to come up here to the Insert tab and selecting on Insert and simply selecting on Load Family. Find that Structural Column folder, double click on it, next find the shape that we want to be able to load into the project, I'm going to double click on Steel in this case. We can see the different shapes that are available. I'm going to choose the very bottom one, the W wide flange column, and click on Open to that. Now, unlike that architectural column, once you load that family in, it will load all the sizes in as well if you don't have the defaults changed from what they are. By default, with structural columns, you'll get a list of all the different sizes that are available. So instead of loading all those sizes in at once, the structural columns will allow you to choose which sizes you want to be able to load off of the list. And you can see that you have basically the entire structural steel catalog and its sizes loaded here into the project. Just so you can see it, I'm going to highlight on the very last one, the W4x13, and click on OK. It may give you a big warning message saying, do you want to override the existing version? And that's okay. Go ahead and do that. It's not going to actually hurt anything. Basically, it's saying there's already a W size column loaded into the project. Do you want to add extra sizes to it? And we're going to be told yes to that question. Now that we've done it, you'll notice that it's not automatically trying to place it because we're not actually automatically in the command. We would have to once again come back underneath Architecture, execute the Structural Column command, go to the pull down menu. And right here, where we have the W4 by 13, this is that new size that we had selected off of the list. And if we would pick it, move over to the drawing area to place it, we would now have that W4 by 13 column inside of our project. So just remember, there's two different ways to be able to load your different kinds of families related to columns into a project. The first way is to actually activate that particular command and select on Load Family. The other way that you can load in families, in this case column families, into your project is to move over to the Insert tab, click on Load Family, and find the appropriate family style off of the list.